Hi again, everyone. I'm so sorry. It seemed as if I had lost that little signal there. But what I was saying to everyone is this. It doesn't matter what it is that, uh, that uh, some of these persons, they probably said to themselves, the difference is that they have said to themselves, I don't care what it is I went through. My latter years are going to be better than my former years. That's the decision that they make. You know, they have decided to put aside being negative, and I'm talking about in general, because their days are going to just act crazy, it's just going to act negative, and that's fine. We're named, we name named human beings. I remember I was working at a particular place, and what they did was they gave you a 20% margin of error. Margin of error. All right, so 80% they expect you to do good, and you know, the 20% anything can go wrong because that's life. We name human beings, you know, and things are not done in its entirety, you know what I'm saying? So I can understand that, but what I'm encouraging everyone to, to do is this to practice it. Don't wait on, on the feeling of it. If you wait on the feeling of it, it may never come. All right, but you practice it, and it's not being fake, it's not being false, it's just training your body and your mind and your spirit and your soul to operate differently. So, you can't say you want to achieve health and wealth and growth and development and operate the very same way. If you find that the way that you're going is not allowing you to accomplish these great ideas and achieve these great dreams, you have to make a shift. I remember I had a lecturer when I was doing my master's and he said you have to take a quantum shift. The near way is the usual way that everyone goes. And I'm not saying that the, the usual way that everyone goes in every single solitary facet is, is, is negative, you know. But what I'm simply saying is that you may need to do something uncomfortable to help you achieve your goals and your desires and your dreams. All right? So my encouragement to everyone be positive start there look for the silver lining in each obstacle look for the silver lining in each challenge and you say and you pray every day and you say God show me the way put persons in my life to help my life to make it better put me around persons who are wiser smarter brilliant it's not a matter of them acting better than you it is a matter of them propelling you to another level taking you to another level and if this was promulgated across the the globe across the island then many of us would not you know be still struggling in the areas that we are struggling in many instances you know and it's really that's why reading make it a man and you know being when you're in the know it makes a big difference but it's more than just being and it's taking it a step further and attempting so the way to the way to really fight your fears is to just do it just do it even if it looks silly because the fact of the matter is to become great you have to start to become great you don't start great you be start so that you become great so whatever it is that you want to do you have to start in order to become great and it is something that you can achieve there's a reason why God gave it to you it is not just there sitting down mosing around like a lawn you know it has to be watered, it has to be taken care of, and then unearthed so that others can benefit from you. The fact of the matter is we're all created to be world changers to make things different. And when I say world change, it may not be the entire world. I'm talking about maybe the environment that you are in, the space that you inhabit, wherever, whoever it is that you encounter. All right? Whoever it is that you come across, you must say to yourself that I need to make a positive contribution in that individual's life. Whether it is spiritual, whether it is mental, whether it's financial, social, however it is. You know, because we're here for each other. No man is an island. No man stands alone. I heard a, a speaker saying that you have some persons who are so negative they can light up a dark room. No, they can. No, they begin to develop in a dark room. My apologies. Because of how negative they are, they develop in a negative room. So let that not be your mantra. Let that not be the order of the day for you that you're so negative that you can develop in a dark room. That's very bad. You should light up a dark room. All right, so I'm encouraging you think on things that are good think on things that are honest think on things that have a good report sit down if it means or if it means yes sorry everyone I don't know what's happening my signal is very low all right so it is not being conceited it is what you're doing is that you're planting new seed on new soil 
all right? So you try the other soil and you realize that the other soil, it wasn't working. So you're planting new seeds on new soil. So you're gonna write down at least five positive things about yourself. And you look at them and you say, Lord, help me to make these, add five more to these. Help me to be a better individual so that I can accomplish my dreams. I was listening to Zig Ziglar and what persons, he was saying that a lot of persons would come to him and say, how can I become wealthy? How can I become wealthy? And he would lay down things that persons put aside. They only think it's investment, which is important. You have to invest invest you have the stocks you have the bonds you have the savings to an extent but you know and you have things that will accumulate um, generate income you know you use whether it's renting or real estate or something like that and you generate all of that but it's much more than that it is how you treat another individual you know how you love people where, where your mind is at remember not all of these well people accomplish all of these things that they have accomplished because of where their mind is things that they think on daily so again you can't think on things that are negative on a general basis or in a, in a general sense or frequently and expect to accomplish positive things when you go into a dark room you should light it up not develop it develop in a dark room because of how negative you are that's a serious comment so I'm encouraging you the ball really is in your court you are the only one you have the volition we're all given choices all right so in order for you to accomplish and to achieve the wealth and the health that you so desire which every human being wants you have to put yourself in that place you have to change your mindsets you have to look at the kinds of friends and companions that you keep what are the kinds of conversations that you have is it about growth and development how to make your life better because people let me remind you something you're getting older and older every day you understand? You're going closer and closer to the grave. And you want to know before you depart this earth that all of the God-given talents and all of the God-given abilities that you have that have been bestowed upon you was on earth and the world was able to see it and you were able to significantly contribute to somebody else's life or other person's lives. The story is told of a man who died for six months and it's after six months that his co-workers recognized and said, where is Tom Jones, for example? And they said, but he died six months ago. Six months and they didn't realize because I'm not going to say that he was insignificant, but maybe he just really didn't play a vital role in the lives of his co-workers. And I'm not saying that everybody's going to be very flamboyant and very they're going to be seen and conspicuous to everyone however sometimes in your quiet moments you can be like a uh, maybe this is a like a serpent and I, when i say serpent not in a negative sense because the bible says you need to be wise as a serpent i'm talking about very potent you know it is almost it's like how oh, the venom is potent and it will cripple you and kill you almost immediately whatever it is that you exude must be potent and just in, when it's injected into other person's life, it must just create that change almost immediately. And that's sad when I heard it. Six months and no one recognized basically that he had died, you know, in, in, in a sense. So I'm encouraging you today, starting today, whatever happened yesterday, happened yesterday. Yesterday is gone, you can't take that back. But starting today make that concerted effort in becoming positive that's the first step in accomplishing all the goals and desires and your dreams being positive practice it it's not going to be easy and you will have low days and we understand that you have the margin of error because we are human beings but practice it you pray every day seek to help others treat others as how you'd want somebody to treat you be respectful be kind be deliberate in these things because the world is already filled with a lot of troubles and trials so sometimes you know when you're greeting somebody greet them with a smile you know greet them with a hug greet them with a kiss once it's done in a healthy manner greet them even if it is that you something that you never did you can try why not we're created we're human beings we should, should be affectionate to each other in a good sense you know Greet them with a smile, greet them with a very warm welcome. Because you never can, they ho never can tell how you would have lit up their entire day. Maybe they've been going through a terrible week, a terrible month, and they just want somebody to say, you know, 
you're special and you know I saw you the other day they look so nice pay a compliment we have gotten so bugged out that we feel that we can't pay or we, go, we feel that the person may take it wrong so what if they want it what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do about it you know what you mean you know pay a compliment to somebody say something kind do something kind if you're able to do something kind to someone you know you start sowing that seed and and even the person who may think whatever it is that they want to think after a while they want to say you know you know like that individual that individual is a good individual you know because they have to see who you are and sometimes when you when you kind of show that positive side persons are going to try and twist it a little bit until they realize that's who you really are so you're going to be consistent with it it's not going to be easy it's going to feel fake it's going to feel false don't worry about that you don't need to worry about that you're just training yourself into becoming a better individual so that you can achieve your goals and achieve your dreams and achieve your desires so you don't worry about the feeling of oh lord that's not me and uh you know i don't need to do that because that's not me come on we're created to serve each other to help each other to be there for each other so say a kind word or a kind deed. Greet somebody in a warm way. Next time you greet somebody, do it in a warm way. Give them a hug, give them a kiss, even if they don't stretch out, even if they stiffen up. I guarantee you, if you do it each time you come across that person, after a while, they're going to do the very same. I saw it with somebody just recently who I was, I mean, I was blown away. It's not somebody who is very affectionate. And I saw when they greeted, you know, the, uh, somebody that they didn't know in a warm way, hug, a nice, you know, healthy hug. And I was so moved almost brought tears to my eyes I'm just simply saying that in order to achieve the things that you want to achieve you have to do the things that the ordinary man does not do and I'm not talking about embezzlement or or doing things in a hideous or bandula thing I'm not talking like that I'm talking about you sowing the seeds of greatness by being positive and as best as you're able live peaceably with people some things people and I'm learning that it isn't easy don't bother take them on a man trying to create some issue just avoid walk away if you must allow them it's you're not weak it's about meekness and mildness as a matter of fact it's a strong individual who does that I didn't understand that I felt that you're you're weak if it is that somebody's trying to be negative and, and try to attack you and if you don't retaliate it means that you're weak if you you know they have overpowered you no know, it's actually a strong individual because what you've shown them is that look here I have the ability to react the very same way but you know what maybe it is that you're going through a bad day or maybe life is just really not so easy for you I'm gonna show you what love is love is patient love is kind it is gently keeps no records of wrongs it is endless but it is something that we have to practice it doesn't come overnight it's not going to be easy and you will have your moments when you'll slip because we're humans and that's fine that's okay so you drop you get up dust yourself off and you go again you drop you get up the bible says if you have the righteous man fall at seven times and gets up back say so many times not carry you fall and it's not literally necessarily seven exact seven you know the numerous times that you fall you get up back because you're making that concerted effort to make things better to be the world changer that you want to be the great individual that you want to be to accomplish your goals and your desires and your dreams and we have to do it together we have to do it together you know we need to make Jamaica and the world a better place I'm seeing too many negative things see look at what is happening in the United States now sadly with the whole uh, you know white supremacy and uh, you know and some are saying the, the black issue and the black person still creating problems and just the whole fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting you know and I was watching it for a while and watching it and I realized my god wow this thing can almost become a part of who you are and bring you back give you that kind of a nostalgic feeling for you know of what it is that a lot of persons may have gone through but then and I'm not saying to ignore history I'm not saying to ign ignore the present what I'm just simply saying is that sometimes we have to be careful how we ingest and digest all of this negative negativity negativity frequently sometimes we just have to just stay 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 far and pray and hope for a change wherever we can make the change we make the change and we leave it alone we're not god so we can't you know we just have to leave things in god's hands and pray that things will work out for them you know so my beautiful people i i, I wish for you a marvelous week a marvelous day 
a marvelous year. We're going to make 2017 and beyond the greatest year. We want, we want to make sure the next decade is absolutely fabulous. It's going to take a lot of hard work, determination, discipline, working together, loving each other, treating each other well, being affectionate to each other. Yes, saying a kind word and a kind doing a kind deed. It's going to take whatever it is that you never did. You're going to do that. Those are the things in a positive way to make your lives and the lives of your families and your friends and those who you can touch better. Mentor somebody. Take somebody and mentor them. Help them. Do not be judgmental. Because when you judge, you too will be judged. Whatever you meet out will be meted out to you, no matter how terrible a situation may sound. Don't judge anyone because you don't know you have not walked in the shoe that they had walked in or have walked in or is walking in. We all carry our different burdens and crosses and all of those things. All right? So endeavor. It's not easy. Endeavor not to pass any judgment. doesn't matter how, what it is. You pray for them and encourage them to be better for those who you, can, who you encounter and who may can, you know, say something to you. And when somebody says something to you, keep it, keep it between you and the individual and God, please. Be somebody who is trustworthy, loyal, a confidant. These things contribute to your growth and your development and your wealth in your people. You must be trustworthy. A person shouldn't tell you something and by the time they turn on the news, they hear it. By the time they watch a movie, they see it on the movie. Come on, people. You need to be trustworthy, be loyal. Be a confidant, you know, and help, help where you can help, help to make somebody's or other person's lives better. That's how we're going to achieve our wealth and our health and our growth and our development and our progress and our prosperity and all of these beautiful words that we use. We use them, you know, that I want to be wealthy, I want to be rich. But we don't realize that it's a number of things, a multiplicity of things to achieve and accomplish these goals and these dreams. I'm sure if you sit down and you, say, and you think on it, you'll realize what I'm saying is correct. If you listen to a lot of these motivational speakers and preachers and all, you'll realize what I'm telling you is so. So my beautiful people, we're going we're gonna to make 2017 the best year. We're going to make 2018 if lives were the best, the, even more, a better year. And so on and so on until that day comes when we say goodbye. So beautiful people, have a wonderful day. I hope what I've said encouraged you. Share my video if you feel like. You know, check out my YouTube uh, uh, page if you feel like, Twitter, all of these things. Have a beautiful day. I wish you a great, great and a prosperous year, a prosperous decade. Have a good time. Have a good day. Do take care.